It has been a long journey for hundreds of farm animals that were the subject of a several month long animal cruelty case in Cattaraugus County. Channel 2's Erica Brecker takes us back to the beginning and shows us where they are now. Down and east in the southern tier, this peaceful place is home to rescued farm animals from all over the country. The animals now have a bright future, but ending up here suggests a dark past. On a snowy February night, a plow driver for Cattaraugus County noticed a horse down and knew something wasn't right. Her phone call for help would lead to a huge investigation of 600 farm animals. Well, I think my first thoughts um, were, were shock. Um, I, to have that many animals, especially with all the, the ducks running loose um, and the different types of birds, but um, just all the garbage and the trash and the lack, clear lack of care for the animals. Susie Costin was a lifesaver, literally. She is the director of the Farm Sanctuary, an oasis of rolling green hills in Watkins Glen that's home to more than 500 rescue animals. When you're talking hundreds of sheep or you're talking, you know, cows, sheep, horses, all the animals that they had, the majority were large animals. So it was, it was a big case that had to be split up. Local farms or people who already owned horses helped take the larger animals from Bonnie and Donald George's former property once the Franklinville cruelty case was over. Farm Sanctuary, a one-of-a-kind place, took in nearly 200 other animals, including chickens, ducks, and sheep. All of the animals had different things going on, but um, starting with the birds where we had to wear respirators, they had a condition called mycoplasma, which is a disease that they were carrying and it causes like swelling of the eyes, um, a lot of discharge and pus coming out of the eyes, um, inability to breathe really well, so it's a respiratory condition. I mean, it's grueling work. That's Ginger Schroeder. She's a lawyer who lives in the area and has helped the SPCA since day one of the investigation. She took these pictures of the inside of the barns since we were not allowed inside. Garbage, feces, matted hair, horses that weren't getting outside, just some of the horrors discovered behind closed doors. That loft actually you were required to wear a respirator just to go in, yeah, because you couldn't breathe. Um, so it made your eyes burn, it burned your lungs. Four months later, the Georges pleaded guilty to animal cruelty. They cannot own animals in Cattaraugus County anymore, and they have to pay the SPCA $20,000 for all the money the small nonprofit spent caring for the animals. The Georges have since moved to Erie County, where the Cattaraugus County sentencing does not carry over. They already have dozens of animals. It started out at about 80 when the actual case started in a separate county. Right now, they may be up to about 100 animals. It could be more at this time. So far, so good. The animals the Georges took with them to Erie County were all in good condition. The SPCA checks in on the animals regularly. As for the 200 animals now living in Watkins Glen, they are acclimating to a better life. Here, they're treated like companion animals, and they'll live out their days here, never to be sent to a slaughterhouse, never to be mistreated again. Now, if you remember from some of Channel 2's initial reports, the majority of the birds found at the Georges farm were either confined to a barn, rarely getting out and seeing the light of day, or the ones we saw were just sitting on a gravel driveway. Here at the farm sanctuary, they not only have an entire pond to themselves, but also a huge pasture. We didn't know we were taking in pregnant sheep. <laughs> Only three of the sheep were pregnant. These new bright-eyed babes are a tangible silver lining to a story that starts as a tragedy. They are healthy and happy. The nice thing about it is not just that we get to see babies, because everyone loves babies, but it's, it's because that those mothers have never been able to keep their babies, and now they'll get to grow up with their moms. The sheep, along with goats and many types of birds, are getting used to being treated well. The staff at the farm sanctuary care for these animals the way we would a cat or dog. It's so sad that this case happened at all, but it's one of the most amazing things to see these animals all of a sudden become really happy and secure. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News. And by the way, a few of the animals were unable to recover from the conditions they were found in. The vast majority, however, did, and that's significant considering we are talking about over 600 animals.